Kosnati Kriya has already served seven years of his life sentence. But a confession made in a suicide note and new affidavits could earn him the right to appeal his conviction. Kosnati Kriya was only 21 years old and a final year chemical engineering student when he was sentenced to life in prison for allegedly killing IFP leader Thomas Shabalala. Kriya claims that police investigating the matter were so desperate in solving Shabalala's murder that he was forced to confess to a crime he never committed. The infamous K2 Manor organized crime unit was behind Shabalala's murder investigation. Kriya's mother alleges the officers acted as a law unto themselves and she finds it difficult to erase what her son endured at their hands. <laughs> The things I saw those Kato Mena cops do was something I'd never seen before. The way they beat up my son in front of me, they wielded guns at us. They were all over our house with guns. I'm really happy now. Finally, my son has been released. There were too many hidden secrets and people involved that will come out now. The Justice for Prisoners and Detainees Trust wants all confessions to the disbanded unit that have led to convictions to be reviewed. There are thousands of people who, who have suffered a lot of torture by the police during the investigation. There's been a lot of death of, of, of the suspect by the police in, in Ketomen. There were forceful conversions that obtained from the, from the suspect, and then later those cases are brought to court. News that moves. ENCA.com.